I've talked about a lot of different ICT strategies on my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you my own trading strategy, which have taken me a lot of time to build up. And the best part is my strategy does not even require a bias. So let's get into the video. The first thing we have to talk about is what my trading strategy is made of. Now my trading strategy is made of six different rules. And then we have two extra rules on the sideline. The first rule being we want to see a obvious SMT. And then that is paired with the second rule where we want to see an obvious FVG delivery. But now you may ask, how can we both get a obvious SMT and fair value gap delivery? Well, I will get into that later. Third, we want to see an obvious IFEG, and that is kind of paired with the fourth rule. We want to see a obvious draw on liquidity, such as internal range liquidity. Fifth rule, we want to see a singular IFEG, and then the sixth rule, if we want or if we take a IFG on the one minute time frame where we see our setup, but there's a FEG on the two minute time frame, we don't want to stay in that trade. And then the two extra rules, which is not required to trade my trading strategy, is a obvious bias and only trade in high probability conditions. But of course, we want to trade in high probability conditions, right? Well, it depends on what trader you are, because some traders may want to trade in low probability conditions where there are no news, but to them, it's kind of high probability conditions. And this may sound a bit confusing, but I will also get into that later in the video. Going into the first example, we can see that price created a SMT. As over here on the left, we have NASDAQ, and we can see at 9.52 and at 10.14, price made a lower high. And on the S&P 500, we can see at 10.12 and at 9.52, price made a lower low. So right here we have a SMT. Now that we have our obvious SMT checked off, we can move over to the second criteria, which is a obvious FED delivery. And this may sound a bit confusing, but I will try to explain it at my best. So basically we have our SMT. Now we want to look for a FVG. And if we look over here to the left, we have a FVG. And we can see price made a very tiny mohawk into that also creating the SMT from their run higher. So here we have our obvious FVG delivery. But the problem is with this setup, I would say it's A setup, not an A plus, because I prefer to have a higher time frame SMT and then a lower time frame FVG, or vice versa, where we have a higher time frame FVG and then a lower time frame SMT. I don't prefer to have a lower time frame FVG paired with a lower time frame SMT but it still works. So now that we have our two criteria checked off, let's move over to the next criteria. The next criteria is a obvious IFVG. And we can see right after we had that FVG delivery paired with the SMT, price immediately made a IFVG, as we can see within here. And this IFVG is pretty obvious, as we can see. And we also have a volume imbalance paired with this IFVG. And this is not a criteria. But when we have a volume balance paired with the FEG or IFEG, we always mark out the whole range. So if we extend that out, we can see right after price made a close at 10.16, price immediately made a retracement into that IFEG paired with the volume balance. So already we have the third criteria checked off, which is a obvious IFEG. Going into the fourth criteria, which is a obvious draw on liquidity, such as IRL. Now we can see when price made the retracement, if we look over to the left, we have IRL, internal range liquidity. And right after we made the retracement, price immediately swept that IRL. But the problem is, is that when price sweeps liquidity, we know a reversal is anticipated. But if we look over here, more to the left, we have created equal highs. So it wouldn't really make sense for price to make a reversal from here, as price has just created equal highs, which is a very strong draw on liquidity. And it wouldn't also make sense for price moving lower, as we already have a FEG delivery and a SMT. So then this becomes a draw on liquidity. And we can see price run out this high, creating a FEG in the middle. So already we have the fourth criteria checked off. The fifth criteria is that we want to see a singular IFEG. And we already have talked about this. As we can see, we have only this FEG to be inversed, and there aren't any other FEGs to lift. And that moves us to the sixth criteria, is that when we're trading on the one-minute time frame IFEG, we don't want to see a two-minute time frame FEG to push price lower. So if we just move up here into two-minute time frame and see 
that we don't have any FVG to push price lower. So that is all the criteria needed checked off. Now let's move over to the extra criteria. So if we just drop down here into one minute time frame again and zoom in, we can see that one of the extra criteria is an obvious bias. And you may have noticed that we have this gray line within here. This gray line is a daily FVG. And this daily FVG have been made to push price higher or have supported price in moving higher. And already here we can see price at 9.52 made a deep retracement into that daily FVG. Then price came back and failed to reach that daily FVG and instead made an SMT and a lower time frame FVG delivery. So that also kind of clarified the bias that we are mostly bullish. And now we only want to trade in high probability conditions. And I see high probability conditions when we have news. But this day we had no news at all. So that's what I meant in the start when it could be different from trader to trader what you consider as high probability conditions. When it comes to taking a trade entry based on the setup, we could either enter at the volume imbalance or at the IFEG opening. And we can see that perfect lines with the consequent encouragement. Then we want to put our stop loss or exit trade when price makes a close beneath the IFEG or just put our stop loss at the slow or just right here. And then we want to target IRL, but that only makes a 0.8 risk reward ratio. Well, there's something that I have left out for you guys. And that is basically another draw on liquidity that we had. So if we just zoom out, we can see that this high is very interesting. As if we turn on to the kill zones, we can see that this is the London high. And we know that the New York session is going to target other session highs and lows. So then this now becomes our draw on liquidity. And when price take out IRL or this high, then our stop loss would be moved to break even. So then we want to target the London highs. And if we have more position openings or open, then we could take profit at these highs up here. And then our final profit at this high up here. So then price take out the IRL, stop loss to break even, target the London highs. I did also talk about this on my Discord as it was happening. And at 10.22, I took the first picture where price have ran this high. And then I also anticipate that price was most likely going to reach for this London high. As this would be considered as a draw on liquidity. As we can see, price is just expanding higher towards a draw on liquidity. And then the final picture, we can see that price did indeed reach that London high. Right here, we can see that price is currently trading higher for the next example. And that price also here on the left created a SMT and also have a AVG delivery. And this is on the 15 minute time frame. So it would be considered as a high time frame SMT and FVG, which is preferred. Now, here on the left, we are on the two minute time frame, which is the lower time frame. And we can see that we have a singular and obvious FVG, which is already four criteria checked off. Price made the retracement to the consequent encouragement, as we can see, algorithmic signature as we know it, reached that internal range liquidity. And is currently also reaching for our drawn liquidity, which is the equal highs and the previous day's high. So if we just move back down here again, we can see right after made the close above it, made the retracement. So if we were to take a trade entry, we would enter at the high of the IVG, put a stop loss in the area where we think price is most likely going to disrespect that IVG or just close to trade entry when price makes it close beneath the IVG. And then we want to target higher prices, which in this case is the equal highs and the previous day's high, which we can see price just ran. So this would be an example of where we can see price reach concrete encouragement, moved higher, reaching equal highs and previous day's high. Another example here we can see we have two IFGs actually, but we're just going to look at the second one. We have our SMT down here. And if we just go up here to the five minute time frame, we have our FVG delivery. And here we have a higher time frame FG and a lower time frame SV SMT delivery. Our draw on liquidity is the internal range liquidity. Now let's see what happens. And we can indeed see that price ran that internal range liquidity. Now I had to be very fast when recording these examples at the moment they occurred. But now that the AM session is finally done, we can talk about these two examples. So the first example, was a pretty good trade, 4.8 risk reward ratio. And if we just move our criteria up here, 
we can see that we had a obvious SMT. And if I just pull my MQ chart up here, we can see that this was the SMT. So we had a pretty obvious SMT at that moment. Now, we can also see that we have a FVG delivery right here. And then this would be considered as a high probability or an A plus setup, in my opinion, because we both had a high time frame SMT and also a higher time frame FVG delivery. Now, when it comes to the IVG, we can see we have a obvious IVG, and this IVG was also pretty singular. As we can see, there aren't really any IVG up here. Then on the one minute time frame, or if we were to take a trend and trend the one minute time frame, we would co of course go up to the two minute time frame. But now that we're on the two minute time frame, we would then move on to the three minute time frame. And we can actually see that we had a, if I just draw it out, we had a IVG. But then if we just go then down here to the one minute time frame again, we can see that price also made a retracement at closing above that other IFG. So this would be considered as still a high probability setup. Now the extra ones would be a obvious bias and high probability trading conditions. So these conditions, I would say is pretty high probability as we had unemployment claims today. And this was the first news day in this week. And we also had a pretty obvious bias and draw on liquidity as we have previous days high and on the daily time frame, if I just move up here, we can see that price made a fail or fail to close beneath previous days low. So now previous days high would be become a draw on liquidity, right? That's pretty obvious. And we also had equal highs as I talked about. So this would be a pretty obvious setup. In my opinion, it's definitely an A plus textbook setup. Going into the second example, we can see that price had two IVGs. And when we have two IVGs, we wouldn't really consider it as an A plus setup. So this would be more like an A setup. But we did indeed have a lower time frame SMT and a higher time frame FVG, as we can see. So that is also pretty high probability. Now, did we have an obvious draw on liquidity? Well, we just recently ran the equal highs and the previous day's high. So the only draw on liquidity in my opinion, would be the internal range liquidity. If we just move down here again, we also have to look for a singular IFG. And we can see that this was indeed not a singular IFG, but it's still not right as this trade worked out. And if we just go down here, we can see that if we take a trade entry on the one minute time frame, we don't want to see a two minute time frame FVG. Move up to the two minute time frame, we can see that there aren't really any two minute time frame FVG. So this is still valid. And do we have an obvious bias? Well, yes, as I just explained in the recent, recent example, that the bias was pretty bullish and that the high probability trading conditions is indeed correct. So this was all also a pretty high probability setup, but I would say the one before this was better. I also want to show you an example of this not working. And this would be right here, where we can see we have a singular IFG, which is pretty obvious. There's no FEG on the two minute time frame, as we can see. And we have a SMT right here. And if we go up here on the four minute time frame, we do also have a FEG delivery. So why wouldn't this work? Well, the reason behind this is because price created a SMT at this high. And we know when price creates a SMT at a current high, price should indeed move lower. And that we could indeed see. But price was bullish, as we can see, we have previous days high up here, which is a pretty obvious draw on liquidity. Well, it could be, or the reason behind this could be that price wanted to make a retracement to then push price higher or filling orders. And that's something that we have to remember, is that usually we could misread price at some point where price would much rather make a retracement and then move higher, but the bias of our trade is still correct. And we can indeed see price move lower from there it just keeps moving higher and is currently on the way reaching our draw on liquidity another setup would be right here where we can see this is actually within the london session so we can see that on the higher time frame or the 15 minute time frame that price is currently moving from external to internal now from internal to external range liquidity. And if we just zoom in, we can see that we have an algorithmic signature down here. Price failed to reach that upper quadrant with a point or so. And also on the lower time frame, price created the SMT. So already we have two of the criteria checked off. And this is actually a interesting example. 
So we can see that when price makes a close above it, there's no need to take the entry when price makes the retracement. As if price were to make the retracement, we would still, or if price was not to make the retracement, we would still get a decent risk reward ratio. So we don't really need to see a retracement at this example. Also, if we go up here to the two minute time frame, do we have a FEG? Yes, we do have a FEG, but this FEG gets inversed at the same time as the one minute FEG gets inversed. So that's perfect. And currently we can see that price is consolidating and that could mean that price is going to manipulate lower and then reach our draw on liquidity, which would be this high. So let's just see what happens. For this example, we could see that price was required to have a draw on liquidity and also to figure out the bias by using external and internal range liquidity. But as I've mentioned in the previous examples, a draw on or a bias is not required when trading this strategy. But we can see that this worked out perfectly right at the end of the London session. Now I just want to put our criteria one last time. And we can see that we had a obvious SMT on the one minute time frame and on the high time frame, we had a fair value gap, which price failed to reach the upper quadrant of. So already we have two of our criteria checked off. Now, if we drop down into the one minute time frame and just zoom in, we can see that we had a obvious IFEG. And what I mean by that is also this was a singular IFEG. So when price made a close above it and we were to put our stop loss maybe at this low, then it was pretty obvious that this was the only IFEG. So we have four of our criteria checked off, which is an obvious IFEG and also a singular IFEG. Now the obvious drawn liquidity, such as internal range liquidity, or of course, external range liquidity was indeed this high up here, which would be considered as external range liquidity. And we can see price ran that high perfectly. So we already have five or five of our criteria checked off. And when we went up to the two minute time frame, we could indeed see that we had that IFEG, which also got inversed at the same time as the one minute IFEG. So this was basically perfect. And we did also use a bit of the daily bias or just a bias by using external internal range liquidity. And this was on a Friday. So the conditions was decent.